G'day guys, welcome to Year Now Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. Why did I just nearly screw up my own intro? Anyway, all things aside, I'm so excited to be back with you guys today. Uh, my last video I did um, my wish list of 2020 where I spoke to you guys about everything that I wanted to purchase, what I didn't end up purchasing and how I felt about the products that I did purchase and whether or not I was going to roll over the purchases that I didn't purchase or the items that I didn't purchase over onto my 2021 list. But today I thought that I would do what I actually did purchase in 2020. So that includes the items from my, um, my wish list of course and also the products that I did purchase, whether that was through uh, my own purchases or uh, beauty related boxes that I receive. I will not receive, I pay for them. <laughs> um, or just things that I picked up or people gave me to try, etc, etc. And let you know how I feel about those things. Um, I won't be going into massive detail about the things that um, were on my wish list. I mean, obviously, I'll give you a little bit of a breakdown. Uh, I don't want to make this video too big. So if you are interested in the things that I did purchase that were on my wish list, um, more information about that, I'll put a, um, a card up here where you can go and check out that video if you're interested. Um, yeah. So let's get into the video. All right, here we go, guys. I've got my trusty phone where I've got all of my items that I've purchased in 2020 listed here. Um, some of them I actually listed where I got them from uh, and even just a little bit of whether I like it or not. So I'm going to start in pretty much the order that I got things in. Um, I think it is, yeah. So from January to June, so let's get started. The first thing that was on my list that I purchased was the Jouer Blush Adore Me Duo. Um, I brought this with my own money and I absolutely love that to this day. Uh, I can't remember what month I brought it in, but I love it. I actually brought it because I wanted to get the cover effects uh, duo and I couldn't get a hold of the one that I actually really wanted so I ended up picking up this instead and I, I don't regret it guys I'm actually wearing it today I'm not sure how well that's going to show up because I'm trying out some new products at the moment but anyway I purchased that that was on my uh, wish list and um, I absolutely love it the next thing that was on my list was the KVD Liquid Lipstick in Sanctuary. Now, um, I got this in a Bella box. I did want to try Kat Von D's uh, Liquid Lip Formula, but I actually wanted to try Lolita, uh, the shade Lolita. Um, but I'm actually, I was presently pleasantly surprised with Sanctuary. It's sort of like a, a brown, and I'd never before experienced sort of browns. I, I just don't gravitate towards them. It's kind of changing now, but anyway, I really do enjoy the liquid lipstick formula. Um, it's not my top reached for, so I'd probably say that it's, I don't know, my third highest uh, liquid lipstick that uh, formula that I've tried. So anyway, um, I have that, I enjoyed it, and uh, yeah. So the third item that I picked up was the Hourglass Ambient Light um, little thingy or jiggy uh, in dim light. Um, this was on my wish list and mm, I accidentally got the wrong one as I mentioned in my previous as I mentioned in my previous video I really do enjoy it uh, but I really do enjoy ethereal light better uh, which I also did purchase and um, yeah I don't know if they're doing a lot I don't know I think they are I really do think they are but anyway moving on the next product I picked up was the Too Faced liquid lipstick in cool girl Mm, I have to say that I regret that purchase. I thought that was going to be nicer on me. I do have a cool skin tone and I don't know. It just doesn't look any good on me. Um, I love the formula, but I just don't love the shade. So I am probably going to end up handing that one down. So yes, that one is a regret purchase, uh, especially since they're like $30. Uh, it really took a lot for me to purchase that. Um, you know, I can justify it if I absolutely love it, but I didn't love it, so it's a bit of a bummer. But anyway, I'm sure I can hand that down to somebody else. The next thing on my list that I picked up was the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Um, I don't really give a shit about this, to be honest with you, neither here nor there. It's not better than my Essence um, uh, Lash Princess false lash effect mascara that uh, I pick up for $10 as opposed to the Bad Gal Bang mascara which I think is like $28, $32, give or take, somewhere around there. And um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan. I don't see the hype about it. So, yeah, a little bit of a regretful purchase there, but, you know, I tried something new. So, anyway, let's move on. The next thing I got, actually, was the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. And this was a gift from Teresa is Dead. Love you, girl. Love that uh, highlighter. It's fantastic. Um, also wearing that today. I wonder if you can actually get some of that, some of that light... Don't know. Anyway, I love the shit out of this, and this is going to last me forever. I've got highlighters coming out of my ass at the moment, but um, I really do enjoy that. Thanks, Teresa. So anyway, let's move on. The next item that I picked up was the Mario Badesco spray. Actually, I got two of them. I got um, the cucumber scent, and hmm, hmm, I I don't actually know what the other scent was. I haven't used them all up. I do enjoy it, um, more so in summer, just a spritz over the face, help bring down that powder on the face, got a nice scent. It's affordable. Um, I don't actually think it's really doing anything except for sort of removing that dusty, crusty powder look uh, from my face, so I guess there's that. But uh, I mean, I think a bottle of um, water and a spray bottle can do the exact same thing, to be honest, but this is nice. You know, it's scented, it makes me feel nice. Um, so I guess it's psychologically therapeutic and it's budget friendly as well. So I don't regret those purchases. I think they're very lovely. And I never would have thought that I'd like the cucumber scent in some sort of, you know, like facial product. Um, I, don't get me wrong, I like cucumbers, but the smell of cucumbers? Hmm, wouldn't have picked it. But anyway, let's move on. The next product uh, I purchased was the Clinique Foundation. Um, Beyond Perfecting, I think it is. Anyway, it's up here where you can see it. Um, I really do enjoy this. I don't enjoy the price. Um, I've got the lightest shade possible, which I think is sort of okay. But I'm, I'm still looking for that perfect foundation, and this is not perfect. Uh, this has a tendency to accentuate my fine lines under my eyes and my forehead. Um, and there are some days where it actually ages me, and I'm not going for that. You know, I'm 35. I'm not looking to look 45, you know. And nothing wrong with 45, but I don't want to look 10 years older than I really am. I want to either look my age or maybe just a year or two younger, you know. So anyway, I'm, I'm on the hunt, and it's not a regretful purchase. I really do enjoy it. It's the only one that I've got on the go at the moment, so I guess there's that. Um, yeah, it is the best foundation so far that I have found for my dry skin. So... Hmm. Anyway, moving on, the next product that I uh, I got as a gift, Teresa again, actually at the same time, is the, um, I, I actually haven't written down the name of this, uh, but this is the laptop tablet, and I got this from Teresa, and she raves on about it, and it's impossible to get a hold of, and she's right, uh, this is fantastic. Um, the uh, shimmers, no, I don't want to say shimmers, but... Um, the foils, I guess, in this, it's just, it's on another level. For a budget palette, this is really, really good. I need to use it more, but I keep going with this sort of, like, basic eye, blue eyeliner kind of look. I don't know. I don't know. I'm digging it at the moment, so whatever. But I know that I will start using this very, very soon, um, just for that pop of colour and, yeah. But, yep, I really do love that. So, anyway, moving on. The next thing that I purchased myself was the Juvia's Place The Violets palette. Now, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with purple. Um, should I necessarily wear it on my eyes? Then it kind of makes me look like I've been bashed. But I love it nonetheless, the colours, that is. But I don't love the performance of this. Not on me, anyway. I just, I expected more from it. I think the packaging is absolutely adorable. Um, I think that... It's probably affordable if you purchase it in America. Um, it was very expensive for me to get it here. And um, it is a regretful purchase, to be honest with you. I probably will end up handing this one down. I don't know who is as obsessed with purple as I am um, in my family and friends. But uh, I'm sure I can find someone who will do something with this. Anyway. It's not getting used with me, and that's a shame. So, yeah, it is a regretful purchase, and it was expensive for me. And, um, yeah, but anyway, I purchased that. So, moving on. The next thing I picked up was the L'Oreal Not Just a Concealer Concealer. I don't really like this. Um, I think that the doe foot applicator is too big. Uh, for me, it's actually quite bright. About the only thing that I use this for is um, the inner corners, just as a brighten up because it's a little bit dark around my eye area. 
Um, I think it's just because I really do enjoy a different formula of concealer that I don't like this so much. I wouldn't say it's regretful, I just, um, I like other things better than this, so, yeah. Um, and the colour, I probably should have picked a different shade, to be honest with you, so. It's not necessarily the product that's bad, it's just that I like something else better, so. Moving on to the next product, which we are on product number 12, is a Jeffree Star's Androgyny Lipstick. I'm actually wearing it today, I love the shit out of it, I don't wear it enough. Why? Because I went on a little bit of a lipstick haul, I guess. Um, we're talking about the girl who used it only maybe two or three maximum. I have over 20 now and it's like, which one do I wear? I don't know. I love them all. But this one is particularly special. I love this. It is my favourite colour out of the Jeffree Star um, uh, Velour Liquid Lipsticks. And... Um, I just love it. I absolutely love it. I gotta wear it more. I really do. So not a regretful purchase. I absolutely adore this. I love the formula, um, especially if you use it right. And um, I love the shade and I love the way that it makes me feel and that's all that matters. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to the next product, which is another Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, Velua liquid lipstick, and that's Dull Parts. And I don't know what the fuck I was thinking when I purchased this. This is like a, um, it's a muted pink, but it's, it's a very obvious pink. Um, it's a more wearable pink, I guess. Um, but it's still too pink for me. It's, I'm not going to say that I would never wear it. I just don't know in my hometown where I would have the confidence to wear it. Um, I think that I'm probably going to mix this one with one of the other, um, liquid lipsticks that I have to form another colour. Uh, or hand this one on and to be honest with you I'm I'm probably gonna hand it on but because it is so pink I'm not sure who I'm gonna hand it on to or who would appreciate it so I don't know about that one but so yeah this one was a regretful purchase and to be honest with you I only purchased this one because I didn't want to purchase just one item from Beautylish um, I should have just gone with a highlighter or something else but anyway I digress <laughs> moving on the next products I brought, which is a three pack, is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, Boom Boom Cream Set, whatever you want to call it, I don't give a shit. Um, I really didn't like this product, I mentioned this in my last video, it's way too strong, it doesn't smell like caramel to me, um, it's so strong that it instantly causes a headache for me, I just, I absolutely hate the shit out of this product, but I can appreciate why people like it. It is so strong that you would smell it on you all freaking day. It is very sort of like bitch vibey. But anyway, um, I can, I get it, but it's not for me. So definitely a regretful purchase. However, I did get the travel pack, which didn't cost me nearly as much as what it would have cost me to buy them all individually at full size. So there's that, uh, hashtag winning. Um, but yeah, I did manage to hand this one down and uh, the recipi recipient really enjoyed it. So it's not all bad. Anyway, moving on. The next thing that I picked up was the Cerave eye cream and the Cerave body cream. Um, these creams, they work really well. They really do. Uh, but they're like, there's nothing really special about them, okay? So like the packaging is not special. Um, obviously there's no scent, they're very uh, user friendly, they're very sensitivity friendly. Um, they're the kind of products that you know you should be using all the time, but you kind of like just push them back to the shelf because, y y you know, they're not special. Um, they're good for you, they're very good for you, but they're just not special, you know. And um, so I don't regret these purchases, I use them uh, quite frequently. Uh, but they're not like that luxury, make you feel good, pamper kind of products. But yes, I will definitely repurchase them. They are definitely worth it and not a regretful sale. So, moving on, the next thing I brought was the Chemistry Brand Hand Cream. This was on my wish list and I just, I didn't like it. There's a lot of hype about this and I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of the scent. But it does something to the skin that makes your skin look like it's illuminative, like highlighted or something like that. And for me, uh, that makes my hands look older, I guess. Yeah, I didn't like this and I will definitely never repurchase it. The next product that I picked up, which is actually product number 18. How many products did I purchase? I ended up purchasing, hmm, 45 products. So anyway, we're on number 18, yeah, 18, which is the 
Shea Moisture African Black Body Wash. I love the shit out of this stuff, guys. I speak about it in my empties uh, videos. I speak about it in my um, my wish list video, and I, I love it. I love, 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 love it. I got half a bottle left in my uh, shower right now. I need to get some more. Uh, just don't love the price. It's twenty dollars a bottle. You know, it's not like you know you go to um, the reject shop or a supermarket and pick it up for five ten bucks. <laughs> it, it rarely ever goes on sale either. So I love it. I want to keep on using it. And um, hmm, just wish I'd bring that price down. Even if it was just like five dollars less, it would be like the bomb. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to product number nineteen, which is the Maybelline Superstar Matte Ink Crayon in Lead the Way. These are fabulous. Um, they are so easy to apply. They look beautiful. They've got a little sharpener on the end, so you can get a crisp line. I think they're phasing them out at the moment, which is a shame because they are really good. And um, yeah, I've actually got a couple of them. This one I really did enjoy. So, and they're budget friendly as well. So, not a regretful purchase. Number 20 on my list is the Revlon Kiss Balm. Hmm. So I've told you guys about the story uh, many times about my son who ate my uh, Colourpop Bell lipstick. Well, he also got a hold of this Revlon Kiss Balm lip balm. And um, these are not cheap either. I think I paid $10 just for one. You know, I'm, I was expecting four, five, maximum six bucks. But no, they're like 10 bucks. Um, and while I found it very, very nice, very, very convenient, um, I can't actually really give you a good description because I only got to use it two or three times before he destroyed it on me. So, hmm, there's that. I probably will pick another one up just so I can give it a good go and like give a really good uh, review in my empties about it. But yeah, uh, it's a bit of a shame. Moving on to product number... 21, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I am loving this palette. It is so simple to use, although I am pretty much majority using only two shades at the moment, um, but I like that I have the availability to darken it, lighten it, you know, use a few different shimmers. I love the shit out of this, and it's not a regretful purchase. Uh, this is my most used palette currently at the moment. I enjoy it. There's not much more that I can say. Moving on to number 22, which is the Elizabeth Arden... Uh, brow gel. I'll put a picture up on the screen here because I don't. I haven't got the full name of it. Um, I really enjoy this. Uh, I've got about three eyebrow gels on the go at the moment. I've got a L'Oreal one. I've got a uh, Essence one, and this Elizabeth Arden one. And the Elizabeth Arden one is my favourite. It's probably the best colour match to me. I'm not very good at doing my brows. Please don't come for me. Uh, <laughs> but I really do enjoy this. It's sort of really quick. Get it through there. Defines the brows. Because my my brow hairs are so... Um, what's the word? Translucent? Invisible? Um, then when I get to sort of down to the tail, they sort of disappear. They turn blonde. Uh, they're there, but they're very sparse and they're very blonde. I don't know why because clearly I'm a brunette. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, yeah. I'd buy this again. I'm probably going to buy a full size. The one I've got is a sample size, but I really do enjoy it. Moving on to product 23, which is the Chi Chi Stay On Lip Liner in Bombshell. I wanted a lip liner so I could line my lips, especially if I was using liquid lipsticks because I tend to go outside the line. Um, I don't like that over um, filling of the lips. However, I've only used it a few times. I'm not going to say that I regret it. I, it goes on really, really well. Um, but I don't use it that often, and I think that just comes down to the fact that I'm not used to using one. Um, so yeah, I think the product is perfectly fine. It's just, I don't use it. So, hmm. It's not a regretful purchase, it's just a little bit of a wasted purchase, I guess. Anyway, moving on. The next product is number 24, and that is the Essence Volume Hero Mascara. Now, I got this one in Bella Box, and I thought I would love it because I love um, Essence um, mascaras. But I hated this one. I hated it. I can't remember why I hated it. But I hated it enough, hated it enough to know that I hated it. So, if I say that I hated it, I really, really did hate it because I don't hate much. I get disappointed in things, um, but I don't usually hate something, and this was just terrible. Um, nowhere near up to the standard of what I'm used to from Essence. So, uh, yeah, hm, moving on. Product number 25 is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Pencil in Neutral Brown. Um, this is my second pencil from them. It lasted a long time. It's okay. 
Um, I say it's okay because I don't really know that much different. I haven't really tried anything high end, so I can only tell you how I feel about this based on it alone. Um, it's better than the Maybelline ones that I've tried. It's better than the NYX ones that I've tried. Uh, it's definitely better than the Essence one that I've tried. So that's all I can really tell you. I enjoy it, but I think that um, there are probably a lot better out there. And considering that e.l.f. isn't as cheap in Australia as it is everywhere else, do I think that there are better ones out there for a better price? Probably. Uh, so, hmm. There's that. Uh, the next product is number 26, which is, uh, actually, 26 and 27, it's a coffee lip scrub and lip balm. Um, I got this in a Bella box. Uh, I can't remember who the brand is, but there'll be a picture up here. Um, it's okay, right? So, it, mm, I love coffee, but this is really, mm, slippery, I guess. Uh, it's not sticky, but it's, I don't know. It, I don't put it on when I'm going to bed, um, and that's when I think the most to put something like a lip balm or something like that on. Um, this one I feel like I get all over my pillow. Uh, yeah. I have something else that I like better, so while I don't think it's terrible, um, yeah, I, I actually do like the scrub though. Uh, that one I really do enjoy, but it says on there, do not eat. Now I don't get into the habit of eating my lip scrubs, okay, I don't, but you know, you do get particles in your mouth and it's like, well, how bad is it, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, this one came in a Bella box and it was great to be able to try something like that. And uh, yeah, do I think I'd repurchase it? Nah, not really. Nah, <laughs> I want to try something else, something new. Anyway, let's move on. Next two products are also from Bella Box, uh, from St. Lux, I think it is. And this is a lip liner and eyeliner. And to be honest with you, I tried them once and they were a bit mm, scratchy and um, undesirable. And I'm probably just going to throw both of them in the bin. Absolutely hate them. Um, I just keep them because, well, I don't have many lip liners and I thought maybe I'll use it. It's never going to happen. If I barely use the one that I enjoy. There's no way in hell that I'm going to use one that's sort of average. That's definitely going to go in the bin. Um, I don't even want to hand this one down. I mean, even if I did clean it all up and it's just not worth it. So anyway, uh, and the last thing that is on my list from the time frame of January to June, so half year, is product number 29, which, which is the thank you body wash and um, I really do enjoy this. I've spoken about this a lot in my wish list video. Um, the proceeds go to help those in need and um, I think that's fantastic. Plus I love the scent. Um, I've repurchased it twice but I really do love that um, Shea Moisture Black African Soap more uh, even though the price of the Thank You um, body wash is better. I like them both, what can I say, but yeah, some are just really stand out. Anyway, let's move on to from July to December, the last half of the year, which is uh, 15 products, so it's not, not too bad. All right, so um, I brought Tough Hands, uh, which is a hand cream. Uh, I brought that from the chemist. It's okay. Um, as I said, I haven't really found a hand cream that I find fabulous, you know? I mean, it, it smells okay, but it's not really doing a lot. I guess I don't use it enough. I'm not wowed by the product to remember over nighttime when I'm laying in bed. Oh, I'll just put some hand cream on. Oh, here's tough hands, you know. It's just, it's not that memorable. So, hmm, while I'll use it, I probably won't repurchase it again because it's not a standout product and I'm really looking for a very good hand cream. Um, yeah. So, the next product, which is number 31, which is the... Thank you brand hand cream. Same thing really, you know, it's affordable, it's nice, but it doesn't feel any better than just like a regular moisturizer that I put on my entire body. I don't know why I would buy a separate one if it's not like fan-fucking-tastic, do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me why I would pay twice the amount for a hand cream if it's not doing anything more than a regular moisturizer. So yeah, there's that. Don't regret it, we'll use it, but I won't rebuy it, so. Moving on to product number 32, which is the Fenty Flyliner. Um, 
I'm wearing it today. That's the blue one that I've got on. Don't know if you can tell. I love the shit out of this. Like, um, once this goes on, it's on, right? It's on for the rest of the day. And if you don't wash it off, which you should, um, you're going to have it on in your eyes in the morning. So uh, this one stays on the waterline. It's absolutely fantastic. I haven't used it anywhere else yet, purely because I like it in the waterline. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't have to rub as hard as every other one. It doesn't irritate my eyes, doesn't burn. Um, I absolutely love the shit out of this and I love the colour and I'm definitely going to buy more once it runs out. I wouldn't even mind trying some other colours, to be honest with you. So there's that. Moving on to the next product, which is number 33, which is the Too Faced Natural Nudes Palette. I really enjoy this one as well. I don't enjoy it as much as the um, Chocolate Bar Palette at the moment, um, pretty much because I'm, I, look, the Natural Nudes is more shimmery, more in your face, like, look at me. And mm, I, 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 I'm just not feeling the look at me sort of thing you know I'm, I'm okay sitting back and letting other people be um the highlight you know uh and although it definitely has a place in my heart and it will come out when you know i'm just feeling a little bit more like myself um i don't regret it i think it's absolutely lovely the formula is fantastic and um yeah good job too faced moving on to the next product which is number 34 which is the hourglass powder in ethereal light as i said with the dim light one love the shit out of it was also on my uh wish list and um yeah i am pretty damn sure that it does something for me i think that it does well um setting up my under eyes and um i think i think it helps avoid making me look older than i am so i don't know i'm just gonna play with it a little bit more since um well actually this last 12 months i haven't really been putting on makeup nearly as much as I usually do. Um, I just haven't had the time, the means, the desire, all of the above, to be honest with you. And um, it's disappointing. I really want to start playing around more um, and be able to, you know, go out and feel great. And Anyway, moving on to the next product, which is the number 35, the Maybelline Nudes of New York palette. Now, to be honest with you, I don't need it. Um, so I brought the Too Faced Natural Nudes and I was waiting for it to come in the mail and I just had this desire to have those colours and I walked into Chemist Warehouse and Maybelline had it. It was the last one on the shelf. It was half price. It was like 30 something dollars or 38 dollars or something like that um, when it was full price and I think it was I think it was actually down to like 15 so it was less than half price and it was the only one there and I was like yoink. Um, and to be honest with you, it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing. However, I gravitate towards the Too Faced one more, and I think that's because it's more expensive and it feels more um, bougie to me. I mean, I know that it's not a high, high end, like something like Hourglass or, you know, something like that, but it's more high end than Maybelline. Um, you know, I can't just... For me, I like where I live, I can't just walk into the store and then boom, Too Faced, you know. But I can walk into almost every store in my town and there's Maybelline. You know, there's Maybelline in my supermarkets. There's Maybellines in my variety stores. There's even Maybelline in my reject shop. You know, like those cheap $2 shops. I don't know what they call them in America, but um, <laughs> anyway, it's Maybelline everywhere. So anyway, um, I actually am going to hand this one down to someone. It is a beautiful palette. Moving on to product number 36, I lashed out, lashed out, splashed out, and picked up some candles from an Australian brand called Ash Creation. And um, I picked up a whole bunch of tea light candles. Everyone was individually scented. I got to pick them out myself. It was really affordable. They smelled fantastic. In fact, I've got to remember to go out and actually purchase some full-size ones of those. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look them up, guys. I'll put the link up here. Well, not the link, but I'll put the... Um, is it the, I think they've got a, um, okay, brain fart, uh, Instagram. They've got an Instagram um, page, and the lady's absolutely lovely, so go and check those out. Guys, I don't know if she does worldwide, though. You have to ask that one. I'm not sure. Mm. Anyway, uh, moving on to product number 37, which is the Lethal Cosmetics Eyeliner. Um, I can't remember the color, the name of the color that I have, but it's like a teal. Fantastic guys, just like the Fenty one, this is beautiful. 
goes on perfect, looks fantastic, stays on all day, doesn't irritate my eyes. Love, love, love. Um, I tend to use the Fenty one more often because it's a, it's a pencil and I'm used to using that. I don't have to whip out a brush, don't have to clean a brush. But in saying that, it is really easy to use. Um, it's very user and beginner friendly. So what can I say? I uh, love it. So moving on to number 38, which is Scent Lab. So I don't know if Scent Lab is just Australian or not, but it's new to me this year and I love bath bombs and my four year old, look, he freaking adores bath bombs. And we've been getting really, really disappointed with bath bombs like Kmart, bath bombs suck ass. Um, we picked up some homemade ones from Castle Maine. They were like, eh. Um, is that Castle Maine? No, Echuca. We went to Echuca and we picked up some um, handmade ones. And while they smelled nice, it disappeared in like five seconds and there was barely any colour. Like, we like, we like colour, we like fizz, we like scent, all right? And they've all got to be to the max. And we're willing to pay for it. And um, so I splashed out and I brought these Scent Lab ones and I don't regret them. He absolutely adores them. He adores them so much that we also picked up bath crystals or bath salts. Um, we want to pick up some bath crumble. These guys are fantastic. I can't tell you whether they are as good as Lush because I, I've never tried Lush. I've got to do that. But I want to compare them to Lush. Um, I just aren't. I'm not. A, I'm, I aren't. I just aren't able to. I'm just not able to yet. Leave it with me. I'll have to pick something up from Lush this year just so I can try. Anyway, they are fabulous. I absolutely love them. Number 39 on the list is the Mecca Off Duty Cream Contour Stick. Love the shit out of this, guys. I use the lighter one. It's affordable. It's really been able to um, help me get those, um, I guess, contours happening. Really easy. Use it with a brush or just strap it on. You can use a sponge to blend it out. It's, it's really user friendly. Um, I've got to remember to use it more. But I'm so used to using powder products and then if I set my face first then I don't feel comfortable putting a cream product over the powder. But when I do use it guys, I'm never disappointed. I absolutely love the shit out of this. Moving on to the next thing on my list which is number 40 which is the Fenty lipstick which surprisingly I got out of Bella Box. Um, I don't like this. I hate the colour. Like, I think it's because... I don't like orange on me. Uh, it accentuates my freckles and you know, I know you guys like freckles or some of you guys like freckles. I don't on me, right? I like it on everybody else except for me. And um, I don't know, I'm not into that sort of pumpkin, bright, even burnt uh, orange. I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. But I don't want to throw it away, and I'm not sure. I think it's because it's so unique that I don't want to throw it away. It's like I don't have anything like that in my collection. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't really like the formula. I don't like the color. I don't like the applicator. Um, I don't like the price. I really should hand it on. If I don't like all of those things, I think I've pretty much made up my mind that I need to let this one go. Um, hmm. Well, there you go. Got it in a ballot box, so I can't complain. <laughs> Anyway, moving on to the next product on my list, which is number 41, which is, wow, 41 and 42, which is two Too Faced liquid lipsticks. One in the shade um, Into You and the other one in Queen Bee. And i got to tell you that I love both those shades. I want to wear them more often, but, you know, wearing masks, it's just like, hmm. The other day was the first time that I actually wore lipstick um, under a mask and I did it for my own psychological sort of you know I needed a pick-me-up and um, it was okay that nobody else knew that I was wearing it uh, did I take it off or was it smudged all over my face yes no it wasn't the two-faced ones they sit down pretty well and don't usually budge on me this was a knack one that I had I had it everywhere guys but you know I enjoyed wearing it and nobody knew nobody was on the wiser so Anyway, um, I really do enjoy the Too Faced Liquid Lipstick formula. I don't enjoy the price. As I said before, they're 30 bucks a piece. They are good. Um, they are. Yeah, they are worth it. But, oh my God, if you don't like the shade, like I didn't with Cool Girl, um, it's like a little bit of a kick in the guts, you know? Anyway, I enjoy these two, so winning. Anyway, moving on. The, aha, uh -huh, here we go. Two, uh... 
matte lipsticks, bullet lipsticks from MAC, so number 43 and number 44 product was Whirl, uh, which I was actually wearing in my last video. I absolutely love this colour. This is a brown. I never thought I would. I love it. I really do. And um, I think I paid... I think I paid $30 for this too, but I really enjoy it. It goes on nicely, it looks fabulous, it wears well, it doesn't dry out my lips. Um, yeah, I really do enjoy it. But I also brought uh, Velvet Teddy, and I don't hate this, but I know that I won't wear it as often um, as everything else. I would probably wear it, I don't know, maybe in autumn? But then again, I'd be more inclined to want to wear my browns, like the, some of the browns that I've got, like the KVD one and the other MAC um, lipstick and uh, Jeffree Star's Androgyny uh, or even um, Jeffree Star's uh, Calabasas. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that one, I probably do regret that one. It looks so good on everybody else, but just not really for me. So anyway, moving on, the last product, which is number 45 on my list of purchases for 2020, is the Revolution Beauty Cosmetics Donut Eyeshadow uh, Compact thing, which surprisingly I got in a Bella box. And hmm, I would have never have picked this up, you know, I just... It's a donut. It's a mini donut looking thing. It's very childlike, but the product inside is really, really good. It's affordable. I can't remember how much it costs, but I do know that it's affordable. Um, and they work really, really well. And the colors um, in there are perfect to do a uh, an eyeshadow combo that's complementary to itself. So I'm, I'm wrapped that I got this. Do I think they'll use it? I actually think that it's small enough for me to put in my handbag to do touch-ups. So, like, if I was wearing, for argument's sake, the um, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette or even the Too Faced um, Natural Neutrals or something like that, if I had the Revolution Donut one in my handbag, I could use that to touch up if I had any sort of fading or, I don't know, if I fell asleep on a couch or something like that. I don't know fell asleep on the train or something and smudged or whatever and I just if I needed to touch up I could definitely use that one um yeah and the closure is really good I know it's not going to open up and it's kind of fun because it's like squishy so hmm, there's that um would I go out and buy it like for teenagers for sure um if I was really on a budget and I really couldn't afford any of the palettes that I already have, definitely, right? Um, if uh, I could never get like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette or any other palette that had that um, colour scheme or anything like that and that was the only one, hell yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, I really do enjoy it. but. It's just, it's just not something that I would reach for all the time. I've got something better, you know? So, yeah. But anyway, guys, that was everything that was on my 2020 brought list. Um, half of those were uh, on my wish list, and the other half came in the form of Bella boxes or me just randomly picking them up. And um, I'm going to say I'm, I'm not really disappointed with my purchases. I could have done far worse. I honestly think that towards the... Um, mid to towards the end of the year that the reason why my purchases weren't as extreme as they could have been was highly impacted to uh covid um i don't want to get sort of like marked or my video booted off by talking about it geez it's really hard to talk about some things nowadays you just don't know what you can and what you can't say hey eh? but anyway um uh, you know makeup brands stopped bringing out as much new and exciting things so there wasn't as much hype um you know i wasn't going anywhere i legit wasn't going anywhere but not just because of that dreaded flu but uh, a lot of my own personal issues and um medical health issues with my four-year-old unfortunately so um you know it just took a bit of a back burner uh but I already do have a 2021 wish list and it's not very big at the moment but let me see I'll see how many things I've got on there um so far my 2021 wish list one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
I've got 13 items on my 2021 wish list and I probably could talk to you guys about it but I might actually just leave that for a little bit down the track because I want to get out um, my lip swatching video. I want to uh, go through all of my lipsticks, I want to try them on, show you guys, especially the ones that are still relevant, that are still available to buy. Um, that way I can cull what I don't want to wear and um, yeah, so it's going to be like a lipstick swatch video slash, um, what do you call it when you cull things? Declutter. Yeah, there you go. Jeez. It's that time of night, guys, um, which means it's time for me to clock off. So if you sat through all of this, I really do appreciate you and I appreciate your time. And um, if you want to send me a message down below about any of the products that I've spoken about, or you just want to gas bag about some of the things that you brought, um, hit me a message down below. I'll always respond. I uh, don't get a lot of people messaging me actually on YouTube. Uh, but if you don't want to talk to me on YouTube, but you do want to get a hold of me, also jump over to my Instagram, which I'll leave here somewhere for you guys. Uh, Instagram and YouTube are predominantly the two places that I am at the most, although I really am enjoying TikTok lately. I've got a TikTok account too, but it's not really beauty related. It's just sort of shits and giggles. Um, but yeah, feel free guys, give me a like and if you're new to my channel and you want to stick around for a little bit, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. But as I always say, don't forget to check the bell. I mean, if you don't like me at the end of the day, you can always unsubscribe later on down the track. But I really do appreciate you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.